Hillary Clinton raising eyebrows with her comments on the release of the five terrorists in the Bergdahl swap. These five guys are not a threat to the United States. They are a threat to the safety and security of Afghanistan and Pakistan. It's up to those two countries to make the decision once and for all that these are threats to them. So I think we may be kind of, you know, missing the bigger picture here. We want to get an American home. Whether they fell off the ship because they were drunk or they were pushed or they jumped, we try to rescue everybody. And Senator John Thune joins us now. Okay, Senator, if these guys are just, eh, nothing, why were they in Gitmo in the first place and why were we holding them? Really good question, Andrea. I think what Secretary Clinton said, or former Secretary Clinton said, is dangerously naive and contradicts everything we know about these five people. Uh, Joint Task Force Guantanamo declared them as high risk. We know they had ties to uh, Osama bin Laden. These were senior military intelligence officials within the Taliban. And when Hillary Clinton talks about, I think we're missing the big picture, the big picture here is that you're talking about releasing a bunch of people that are very, very likely are going to get back into the fight and put American soldiers and American interests and American citizens uh, at risk. That is a very serious uh, concern, I think, for a lot of Americans. And somehow it's being lost here in Washington, D.C., where a lot of people have sort of bought into this narrative, a, a misguided and alarming narrative, I might add, that somehow these guys are not going to be a risk to American interests. Mm -hmm. Especially now when they're heroes. Senator Thune, what she said also directly conflicts with what senior intelligence officials are saying. So why would she say this? Is she just covering for the president? Well, I think she is, and I think they've all, they've sort of fallen in line right now. But, Andrea, what's happened here is they, their credibility is shot with the American people. And I think everybody sort of sees through this, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, facade that they've created here that somehow these guys weren't dangerous because it does contradict everything that we know and these reports that are coming out of our intelligence community whose assessment it was that uh, of these five, four of them were a, a nine on a scale of ten risk of getting back into the fight and the other one was an eight. So these are people that our intelligence community, uh, everything we know, all the circumstances surrounding this suggest were a real danger and continue to be a real danger and somehow the administration has decided to downplay that and hope that uh, people are going to buy it. But I, I, I think they see through it. Senator, I only have about a minute left, but a lot of our officials are also anonymously saying that they're not going to be closely monitored. They could escape. How concerned are you that they could go back to jihad much sooner? I'm very concerned, and I think every American should be very concerned about that. Uh, you know, th this idea that somehow because they're in Qatar that uh, they're going to be for a year off of the battlefield uh, with uh, modern communications. I mean, these guys could be back in the fight in a hurry. And I don't think for a minute that we should assume that just because the administration has offered some assurances that these guys are not going to be back engaged in, in planning and executing terrorist attacks because that's what they do. These are hardened, some of the worst that we had at Guantanamo, and, and now they're back on the loose. That's a real threat to American uh, soldiers, American citizens, and American interests. Well, as my colleague on the fly, Greg Gutfeld, says, maybe they'll just go start a book club or something. I doubt <sighs> oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Senator, I doubt it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Andrea.